Of course you wanna to get top dollar now that you've actually decided to sell your home, but can you do it without spending top dollar? Here are four simple solutions to get the job done quickly, effectively, and put more money in your pocket. I'm Daniel Blattman, and this is Living NYC. Number one, painting. It is so simple, but makes all of the difference in the world because it gives the apartment a fresh look. There's no little nicks in the doors or in the walls, no little black spots, and it makes it feel really fresh and changes the energy about the apartment. For example, if your walls are brown or yellow or red, it makes the apartment look like it is tired, outdated, or is gonna need a lot more work than what it actually will need. Number two, lighting. Lighting is one of the most underutilized ways to highlight different elements of the space, and we can really brighten up corners. If your apartment is internally facing, making the interior that much more attractive and bright is that much more important, especially when it comes to the window position on the wall. Because if the window is actually further down the wall from the ceiling versus closer to the ceiling, it makes the eye circle back and come into the space that much more, which makes it that much more important to have the space well lit and show off different elements of the space and basically direct the buyer's eyes to what you want them to see. Number three, staging, which can be expensive, it can also be inexpensive, especially when you use an agent that has a very good eye and knows how to minimize and maximize your dollar, plus what elements actually make a big difference and which ones are excessive. You can also save money by just simply decluttering. They say that closets should only be 70% full. Same thing with shelves, and same thing with counter spaces should be empty. An important thing to remember when you're selling your home, if you're having a little bit of resistance to doing this, is that you're selling somebody else the opportunity to create their life in your space. We're not selling your history. Lastly, number four, get out of your home and let us show. We never know what buyer is gonna be the buyer that's gonna be willing to come in and pay the most amount of money for your property. Now the challenge is we have to do that on their schedule. The more limitations that we have for access and the more difficult it is to get people in, the less likely we're gonna find the right buyer and drive that interest and that traffic to actually spend the money. We all know that once your property's on the market for a month, it starts to get a little stale. So please get out. So these were four simple ways on how you can maximize the sale of your home that every agent should be doing. Now, if you wanna know what I would do and how we would customize an approach to make it easy for you and cost effective, give me a call. I'm Daniel Blattman and this is Living NYC.